April Fools or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna be real with you. This isn't really a joke. Let's actually talk about 2020. But then again, April Fools should have been canceled in 2020 because the whole year was April Fools already. Just one big prank. Okay, stop. That's enough. Whew. This is serious. Now, there really isn't a word, nor a sentence, nor a paragraph, nor an essay, nor even a bajillion page book to explain what a train wreck 2020 truly was. It started a little off with the Australian wildfires and the supposed World War III with the US and Iran, and the death of Kobe Bryant, obviously, which led the entire world by shock. Then this pandemic comes in, which wasn't a big deal at first, like they were saying saying you gotta wash your hands and use sanitizer and no more contact with anybody. But still, the people at first didn't show much effort. But then it suddenly became a huge priority for some reason that I still can't wrap my head around. Of, you know, lockdown and quarantine, which in the time I'm recording this, it's still going, mind you. And then we have the entire situation of the death of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter, which I made a video about last year if you want to know what I truly feel. Spoiler alert, I feel then, after all these terrible things that have been happening around this world, we then remember, oh yeah, there's an election. And let's just say that we were lucky to have a good result from all this, but those debates... Oh, those debates. The left. Will you who shut is your, up, man? Listen, who and not to mention the isolation and the quarantine and the loneliness and these Zoom classes, which are just so awkward. Like every single time a teacher assigns a breakout room, you know everything's just gonna go downhill because every time, and I mean every Every time I go to a breakout room and I'm like, so who wants to do this? And nobody talks, so I just make this really awkward face and mute myself again. They're the worst. They might be fine if you at least know the person, but when you're going to a high school, you might as well try to make some new friends. Is that too much to ask, 2020? These breakout rooms are as awkward as the reaction from the co-workers from the office when Michael Scott tells a joke. Well, 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 how the turntables... 2020 to me feels like an ongoing joke without a punchline. You know, I think it's safe to say that 2020 has been the worst year we've ever experienced in our lives. I mean, for God's sakes, 2021 might just be a code for 2021. That's right, Will Smith, you, you just keep crying. And even if 2021 is over, we're still gonna get 2022 and 2023 and four and five and six and seven and eight right until you get to 2030, which doesn't sound cool as 2020. Just what a missed opportunity for such a great sounding number of a year. But after all I just said, which is clearly not even scraping the bottom of the surface, I think all of us can agree that 2020 also did a lot of good stuff as well. Much like all the negatives, I always say that it's important to look on the bright side no matter how terrible the circumstances are. Don't get me wrong, to the wildfires, to World War III, to the death of George Floyd, to the pandemic with all the lockdown and the quarantining and Zoom calling a breakout rooming. Much like everything negative, there's always something that can be the tiniest thing ever that people can still be very glad and thankful for. For me, 2020 sure wasn't a great experience or anything like that, but it sure was an experience. I mean, in 2019, all of us have the mindset of, oh my God. 2020 is coming a new decade new changes a new leaf being turned around in making us achieve things better than us which will make us better people so when you see how 2020 turned out to me anyway I obviously didn't get the year I was promising myself but think about it this way. We did get a new decade and definitely got some new changes and we all had a new leaf turned around and we did achieve things that are better than us like surviving. I bet you a million bucks that if 2020 wasn't a great year, every single one of us wouldn't have been grateful for our surroundings as much as we are now. In 2019, much like everyone that's been going to real life school, isn't that kind of sad? that I'm actually calling it real-life school pathetic. 
But this is where we are now. Anyway, we all wanted a break. We were sick of studying late, waking up 6 in the morning, going to school, and trying to pay attention to every single detail. But there's usually that one detail you might have missed, but turns out to be the only thing that mattered in the test. Which never happened to me, because I'm a perfect human being and I make no mistakes. That was a joke. April Fools! But in 2020, the first month of quarantine, everybody loved it, especially me. I mean, it was definitely new, but I loved it. But as the pandemic was getting worse and the protocols became even tighter, we've been getting sick of online class that I and a bajillion of other students, get this, have actually started to miss school like real life school. If you were to tell me in 2019 that a year from now I would actually say the words I miss real life school, then 2020 is strangely doing something right. 2020 to me is showing us that there are consequences that we've been taking advantage of this world and doing whatever. Maybe this was 2020 wanting us all to learn a lesson by cramming us in one confined place with our families to show us that going outside to exercise when all you wanted was to play video games or hell go to school is actually a wonderful thing and you should have been glad that you had the chance to go outside and play with your friends or you had the chance to go to school and actually learn. Like 2020 actually taught us that the things we didn't really care for are actually worth really caring for. Another big thing is that 2020 did connect us more with friends and families. I know you're gonna say, how is that possible? Zoom is nowhere near the same as actually meeting someone in real life. And though I agree with that, post-pandemic, a lot of people were getting really distant because they were like, social media is all we need, but it's not really. Now, people are actually being more of a community than ever. I've actually connected more with my family not only because I've been seeing their faces for 24 7 for a year now but 2020 kind of changed my perceptions about my family and how truly grateful I am to be with them I mean I already was grateful obviously but imagine the level I felt in 2019 but times a hundred 2020 also gave us the time to cool down I mean sure I would have personally liked the whole pandemic thing to end like the month it started but but again, looking at the positive side, it did make me anyway become a better version of myself. Ever since the beginning of lockdown, I started to exercise more and work out more just to stay healthy and get in even more shape. Ever since lockdown, I've also been catching up on some books and shows and movies that I haven't seen yet, but quarantine gave me the time. And ever since lockdown, I can feel more relaxed with my studies and feel a lot more calm confident and never take up the stress of homework or studying or tests because now I don't feel any of the anxiety that I used to feel when I was in actual school and I'm actually improving due to the lack of all the weight on my shoulders. 2020 was a year that pretty much stopped the entire world to reevaluate and reassess what we can do better or how we can do better or better yet be better as people. It shows that life is short life is sort of like a test where it shows you that if you go too far you might lose this chance of living but if you stick to the right trail the future is gonna be great for you a lot of my friends have actually been asking me how to cope with their depression and stuff like that because I'm like a therapist to my friends and all I say to them and all I'm gonna say to you if you ever feel frustrated because of what's been happening around the world and that includes the pandemic. Hey, don't worry about what's happening right now. Always think on the bright side. Always think that maybe this online learning and this whole 2020 experience was merely just a way to make us all learn something that we haven't learned before, or make us conquer something that we've never conquered before, or make us appreciate the world that was created just for us that we've never appreciated before. Everything is gonna be okay.